Hey there, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Pisces here. Possibly, uh, we're going to pull you a couple of cards, really quick video, just to kind of introduce myself. Would also like to thank Nicole. Big shout out to her. Uh, as I'm filming this, I believe it's somebody's birthday. So this is going to be for her channel. Alrighty. So uh, thank you all so much. I am a tarot reader and certified angel oracle reader. Uh, I, you know, definitely advise on checking out any of her classes as well. Alrighty, so let's just get started here for our Pisces. Your ruling planet is Jupiter. All right, you are a water sign. And what do we have going on here, Pisces? This is screaming Gemini's to me. And look at, they're all so tattooed. You could be working with that twin energy. It says uh, down here, the Knight of Swords idealism. So this could be something that you could possibly be looking out for, you know, October 2020 or some somewhere down the line there or possibly working with this right now. Uh, so when it comes to air signs, you know, uh, Pisces air, Pisces air. So Gemini could possibly be working with Libra energy, you know, possibly working with Aquarian energy. But I mean, this pretty much just says it all or, you know, somebody out there. And it's interesting, too, because you've got the Pisces, the two fish there. All right. So uh, this is idealism. You know, it's ideal to have um it's easy for others to judge us. And again, cross-watcher, this can go vice versa. This may not have anything to do with you. All right. Uh, however, I'm feeling along the lines, you got at least two sides to you, Pisces, along with Geminis as well. You know, you've got, you know, you can be very quiet. Uh, things going on behind closed doors that you uh, may necessarily not want to share with others because they may be uh, like dream Dream destroyers, if you will, putting it nicely, you know, uh, possibly you have a Gemini that you will be meeting, which is really cool. Uh, Geminis, I uh, feel free to leave a comment below. I think that that actually would probably be a pretty good match for some of you out there. You know, you've got that Gemini energy as far as... Uh, that lightheartedness, uh, or you could possibly be working with somebody like that. And it's just like, wow, this person may seem too flighty. Um, are they actually taking me seriously? You know, because Pisces are about business, you know, do not get in their way. I often like to joke around, um, you know, with my, um, uh, my people out there, you know, it's like Pisces are going to be the goldfish or the shark this month, you know, because Pisces uh, get what they want, very determined, which is an awesome, you know, uh, attribute about them. But when it comes to love here, we have the Ten of Wands. All right. Very quickly, 10 numerology, angel numbers, very, very generalized, very quick. Uh, 10 completion to a cycle, very painful cycle, too. Uh, again, especially if it comes to love and that's not to scare anyone being like, oh, my gosh, my relationship's going perfectly fine. Are we going to break up, Carolyn? What's the deal? Not necessarily. All right. So that. This is just you've, you've had a overload of work, you know, uh, when it comes to career, possibly trying to find a job, possibly trying to find that person, you know, angles, all angles from all over the place, friends, family, you know, love. It's just like, why are you having to carry this burden? Wouldn't it be easier if you could just, you know, let go of all that dead weight? All right. Not carrying burdens from the past, freeing yourself from uh, and forgiving yourself from possible past mistakes that you could have made, you know, changing that karmatic cycle and really taking a long look at what you'd like to um, get into a new partnership. You know, what what uh, cycle have you repeated in the past? You know, so you do not attract that same type of person that's going to lie to you, cheat on you, steal, just use you, only call you when they need something, you know. Uh, and we also have the Ace of Pentacles right here. So I'm really liking this card because somebody is going to be coming in and giving you an offer, whether it comes to business or an offer of love, I'm thinking. And some, some of you may be like, Carolyn, I've got way too much going on right now. 
like the great Tina Turner says, what's love got to do with it? Because I just, I don't have time for a relationship. All right. And uh, I'm thinking that you can make time for this particular relationship. I think that this is really good. You know, some things to possibly be looking out for. We've got that little weasel right there. Somebody's trying to weasel on into your life. Uh, that's, that's really cool. I mean, if you look at it at a more negative scale, which I try not to, but just possibly be mindful of is like a jealous friend maybe uh, but I'm really liking this uh, also to an option between two people as well so that's really cool uh, so just make sure that you are not uh, having this person pay for uh, past relationships that have treated you unkindly and unfairly you know not everybody out there is bad and uh, you know so that's just a little quick update you know on possibly what to look out, especially when it comes to love, you know, uh, in October. So that's really cool. I'm really liking this. So let those burdens go. Do not be too hard on yourself. Do not let others criticize you. All right. So, uh, and look out for that offer right there. Can it be trusted or can't it? We will find out soon enough. So until next time.